Welcome to the Ideal Investor Show. This is the podcast where we help you challenge your mindset and discover where you are. Tired of stories about other people's success? We can help you change your life, determine your time freedom point and join us on the journey to financial success. Let's go. Hey, welcome everybody to the next episode of the Ideal Investor Show where we bring you interesting topics related to residential real estate investing, stuff that I have seen, stuff that I've experienced, new things that are evolving in the market. So every episode we're trying to make as interesting as possible for you. And today I have something where I have to say that was initially when I saw the headline, it was kind of like a funny story. One of those, you got to be kidding me situations. But when I read it, it actually reminded me and I want to bring it to you as a really short, quick episode. Um, that what we as the owners would sometimes like to see happening with our properties is not necessarily what is either possible or advisable. So you might say, well, cryptic X, so what are you actually talking about? What is the deal here? And so you potentially have or might in the future have a situation where, for example, you would like to know how well the tenants in your property take care of the property. In a way, have an inspection. One thing that we have done in the past is to offer the tenants as part of the uh, lease agreements to do the switching of the filters for the air conditioning. Because with that, we can make an appointment to come and switch the filters. And yes, it costs a few dollars to put the new filters in, but you can do this in the spring and in the fall. And it basically gives you two opportunities to take a look at the house. Now, when you do this and you say the purpose of coming by and, and getting into the house and switching the filters is for that, then you still have to say, and we want to basically do as an inspection on behalf of the owner, right? And that gives the tenants the opportunity if they want to, to clean up a little bit, but it also, when they make that appointment and every tenant should be interested in getting their filters for the air conditioning exchange, especially if it's free, um, that they allow you to go into the property. But fundamentally and legally, they don't have to. You basically give them the right to occupy the property and there are tenant protections that say they can only need to let you in with an appointment as long as they meet their obligations in the lease agreement. And their obligation could be that they're signing that they let you in for one or two of these filter changes or any kind of other maintenance things when they report something that needs fixing, they obviously need to let property management in and any vendor that is being sent to fix something, right? But if there is no agreement other than basically moving in and moving out, they can theoretically refuse for you or anybody else to get in. Why would we want to go in? We also want to not just have a visual inspection, but if we are, for example, considering selling the property or getting it ready for a new tenant, when a tenant has indicated, okay, I'm finishing my lease term, but I'm not planning to renew, right? So they would have to give us anywhere between one month to three months ahead of time notice. And we would want to get ready to see, okay, what can we do to start marketing for a new tenant? But you want to also have an idea, are there any major repairs that we have to consider and the money to be ready for it? Or have the tenants really kept good care of the place and with minor cleaning and minor things, we can rent again and they get the security deposit back. Now, what actually, <laughs> why I said this was kind of like a funny story, and I know it was probably not funny for the person that property management sent. You can probably imagine, I get newsletters from many, many people in our industry because I want to see what the competition is doing, but also because this community is really a nice community and we all help each other and everybody has different ideas. So I got Joe Fairless newsletter and he had like one of the headlines was, property manager gets tied up by tenants. And so what had happened there in this situation is the tenants were supposed to move out, property management had made an appointment and the appointment was to basically check everything is good to go to either get the full security deposit or partial security deposit back as part of the moving out process. And so uh, somebody from property management, a female representative, goes to the address, rings the doorbell, comes in, is starting the inspection, and then suddenly somebody comes out of the kitchen with a gun and at gunpoint is trying to tie up this representative of property management on a chair. Nobody knows what really the deal or the int intention was there. So she could basically 
get out of those ties, run out of the house and get the police and the police came and arrested the tenants. But that on the one hand is kind of funny unless you are that person that is basically being threatened with a gun. But the thing about it, why, why I thought was it is important to make you aware in this particular case, the police could just move in and arrest these people for one for threatening somebody with a gun, but also this was an official and approved appointment. Had, and this is what my message is, if you basically say, or somebody at property management is not aware of the rules and they just ring the doorbell and go right in and say, hey, I want to look at the inside of the house and they didn't make an appointment that the tenant agreed to, then it's illegal. It's basically like trespassing. Even though it's your house and they go in there on your behalf, but if they don't have an appointment, they cannot just get into the property. The only way that is not the case is either somebody goes to the house and because it was reported that it smells weird or there's something weird going on, then property management can call the police and the po police can come and investigate to find out what's going on. Or the other thing is if you have started eviction proceedings and the court says, okay, because the tenant is not meeting the requirements of the lease agreement, for example, they don't pay the rent or they don't clean up the place or if the city says, hey, the grass is too high or the trash isn't removed or anything like that, then the court can give you permission to get into the house. Right. So those are the exceptions. So any kind of like distress where you want to go and help or a situation where the court has given permission, even if the tenants don't want to. But it's not normal that somebody goes and wants to do a moving out inspection and gets tied up at gunpoint by the tenant. So you don't want to do the job of property management, I guess, is my message. That's why we're working with turnkey providers. So we read about it in the newspaper. And I don't want any of our property management representatives ever get into that situation. But for sure, I wouldn't want to be there. And I'm sure any of you guys who are investors also don't want to be there. So this is just one little piece of caution that I give you as part of our methodology in, in our mentoring program. So if you want to hear more of the things we do when we're serving our clients, when we're finding properties, when we're doing investments, when we're doing the lending, getting the insurance in place, getting inspections in place, and more and more and more other things, then you should get in touch. How do you get in touch? You go to idealinvestorshow.com and you find the button to book a call and then we have a conversation. And uh, if that's too much of a step, I would at least like to ask you to download this episode, give it a rating, maybe find us on LinkedIn, find us on Substack, you know, subscribe to our channels and stuff because we bring out lots and lots of information in addition to the podcast. And if nothing else, you want to be as well informed as possible. So that's it for today. Be well and stay safe. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.